Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, today we are attempting to get glass skin on oily skin. If you guys haven't heard about it, there is this type of makeup called glass skin. I believe it's a Korean beauty type of thing like that's where it's big in the K-beauty community where your face, it, it, your, your skin just looks like glass. I'll insert some pictures here of what it looks like. Um, I've seen it done before. I've thought about trying it but if you're not new here then you know I have oily skin but you know we we here so I'm gonna try it anyway and we're going to see what glass skin first of all if we can get it and second how it looks on someone who has oily skin so let's go so we are going to start out with skincare for two reasons one because this video is sponsored and two because this Ula Henriksen fat glow facial mask is supposed to give you well one of the things it's supposed to give you is illumination and that's something that you want when you're trying to get glass skin like an illuminated really hydrated face is what we're going for here today so we're going to use this so again this is the fat glow facial is packed with PHAs to help retexturize exfoliate illuminate brighten your skin all that good stuff the main reason you know i was intrigued is kind of the whole like facial word because they say you're supposed to get a facial once a month but raise your hand if you're part of the i don't have once a month facial money there i know i am we're gonna pray about that later but anyway um so when i see that you can just buy this and use this two times a week like it's suggested and kind of get the same results well pretty much the same um i want to try this out i've been trying it for a minute I, you know your girl has gotten back on her skincare game and i feel like it's showing on my face but we're gonna go ahead and open this up can you see that do you see how it's pinkish there around the the hole where the product comes out of so it's going to come out pink i could have just also done this and show you how it's pink but it comes out pink and then you go ahead and apply a layer onto your face almost got that right in my eye y'all know I can't see so you know it's fully kicked in once it goes from pink to white and then you just wait the 15 minutes uh, before you go ahead and wash it off throwing that out there just in case anyone else has sensitive skin like I do I've mentioned before that I've tried you know mask and it burned I'm not talking chemical burns but the the physical feeling of it felt like my skin was sizzling like it was burning and i couldn't wait the 15 and 20 minutes to take it off i don't have that issue with this you know i did mention that it exfoliates so i like to mention that with exfoliating type products and stuff like that or anything that just makes my face feel some type of way but i mean i'm talking normally right now and i, I ain't got any issues just like that we are ready to move on to the rest of our face look at Look at my skin. She's just been doing so well lately. So I'm gonna start with primer. This is from Farsali. It's literally called liquid glass. So I feel like that's a sign that I'm supposed to be using it in this video. And you know, we're, we're gonna be generous with it. And I'm gonna take the Milk Hydro Grip. I know it's a lot, y'all, but you really want your face to be hydrated here. So I'm gonna take this and just dot it in my T-zone. And I'm just going to spray my face down with this Hard Candy Hydrating Primer Mist, okay. Now to get into the actual makeup, I'm going to take this Charlotte Tilbury Wander Glow and pump some out on the back of my hand there. Not a lot. And then just take my finger, swirl through it a little bit, try not to get that much. And then just go over the part of my face where I would highlight and just blend that in there. And I'm gonna do a little color correcting around my mouth area with the LA Girl. Ooh, the LA Girl color corrector. And it's not gonna be a lot. This might be a lot to some people. And just blend that out there. Now for concealer, I'm just gonna use this CoverGirl concealer in D700 to kind of spot conceal. Not that much. I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer 
to actually highlight under my eyes. One of these is full and one is not. Um, they're both the shade Amande. This feels full. Let's try this one. Um, I think y'all see a theme. I don't think it was, wait, maybe it was this one. I think y'all see a theme with the products that I chose for this video. I hope, you know, my thought process pays off here. Now just to blend, blend, blend that out. And then for foundation, this is actually new, so let me know if you guys want a foundation hunt on this. This is from NYX. This is their Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation in the shade Coco. They sent a couple shades, which again, you know, let me know about that video. I'm gonna go with Coco. We don't really know if that's the exact match, but we're gonna use her today and see what happens. So just gonna pump some out there and just dab her on there. And now this is the Secret Brightening Powder from Laura Mercier in two. I think it's medium deep there. I figured this would be the best powder to set my concealer with since, you know, it's a secret brightening powder. And again, that's what we're kind of going for. I'm not gonna bake my under eyes. I'm literally just going to set it. Literally just push the product into my under eye and try to keep it under my eye. Okay, so I'm gonna contour a little bit with this CoverGirl concealer in 900. And just a little bit. So for blush, I'm just gonna take this Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour. Um, and I just kind of want my cheeks to have a little sheenish look to them. As you can see, you know, it's not like a real blushy, blushy color, but we're just going to. So now I'm gonna take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Setting Spray and set. I usually push the product into my face, but today we're just gonna let her air dry. And then last step again with my finger, I'm gonna take this Uma Contour Stick in Black Pearl 3 and use the highlight side. And just kind of go over this area of my face where I put the Charlotte. Uh, liquid. Now I typically use this mask at night. That's just when I prefer masking, but I feel like this is one of those type of products where you can break it out for, cause it says you can use it in the AM and PM and I just use it during the day. Um, I feel like you can break it out for special occasions like weddings, proms, special date nights, stuff like that, um, where you want to put it on before you put on your makeup. Cause I just feel like my makeup's been going on nicely over it putting it on during the day i don't do it often but you know when you really really want to look cute i feel like that's when you can break this out as well that is it for my face not sure about this foundation shade but other than that i feel like we accomplished what we set out to do today i don't know I've, like y'all tell me in the comments down below is my skin looking like the pictures i'll get a, a close-up here i feel like my skin is looking glassy i mean Maybe that's just me, but I feel like, especially considering how my face usually looks, like this is this is glass for me here. I also feel like they might have been onto something here with this whole glass skin makeup approach because she is cute. Even if I didn't accomplish fully the whole glass skin thing, this finish to me is very cute. Very, you know, kind of like I woke up like this type of thing. I'm feeling it. We might continue seeing her. Might have to continue playing with it a little bit, you know, tweak it with some things, but points for me. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope seeing this has helped. If any of you were ever curious about this technique, wanted to see it on a similar skin tone, wanted to know more about it, just intrigued by watching me attempt to do it, make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.